Lisa. Hi, I'm Evie here with In The Loop and I'm here with five-time Australian national champion Kailani Crane. Welcome Kailani. Thank you for having me. No, oh, it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, you only just arrived here in yes. Melbourne <laughs> very shortly. Uh, so did you spend some time exploring Japan after NHK or did you just fly straight home and Unfortunately, get some rest? yeah, like I had to fly straight home uh, just because I wanted to prepare for nationals. But I had already been to Sapporo uh, for the Asian... Um, the Asian Winter Games. Yeah, Asian Winter Games. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, Asian Winter Games. So I got to explore there quite a bit actually when I was there. Um, we had a few extra days there, so it was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just need to get home as quick as possible. Um, to pre prepare for nationals, so. <laughs> <laughs> prepare for the hecticness of this weekend. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you first get interested in figure skating? Like, as a kid, what year? What, what age did you start? Uh, I started at eight, and I think I just got interested in it because I went to a birthday party, and I just really liked it. So we kind of just got lessons, and we mm -hmm. didn't think of anything of it actually. Even when I started competing, it really wasn't. Uh, kind of I wasn't thinking ahead yeah. it was more when I was about 10 or 11 11 probably that I really thought about um my goals in the sport and that was Olympics mm -hmm. and yeah that's it kind of just it kind of just progressed from there like I didn't think ahead until I got to around like primary division which is now basic novice yeah uh so yeah <laughs> so this is the first season where you've been invited to two Grand Prix mm. events. So you had Cup of China and then just NHK just a couple of weeks ago. So what was it like competing at both of them this year? It was crazy because I hadn't booked my flights yet to uh, Asian Trophy, which mm. I was definitely going to. I was going to compete at Asian Trophy and also a competition in Prague. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I literally was about to book my flights that night to China, <laughs> and then. Um, a person from our association said, oh, just a heads up, you're probably going to get invited to Cup of China. I'm like, oh my God, what? <laughs> That's crazy. Because I, I, at that stage, I, don't, I just stopped looking and I stopped thinking about going to like, Grand Prix. Yeah. Like, I, just, I just kind of continue with my season and plan for my season. Um, and I'd already gotten my visa for China as mm -hmm. well because I was already going to China to compete and it just worked out perfectly because I didn't have to leave the country. I just stayed. Yeah, yeah it was great. So you stayed in China and then yeah. flew to Japan? Yep, I had like two days extra where, nice. where I was and then I flew to the Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, this was the first year that I got invited to two Grand Prix in the same season. So it was so exciting. And Japan, it was great. Like I, I Although... I have been competing like non-stop like every week yeah uh it's been good for me I think like I think that even the last competition uh the NHK trophy mm -hmm. I actually felt my most relaxed so oh, okay. you know hopefully this week I feel just as relaxed <laughs> <laughs> so how's it like like what's the difference between competing at an international event versus like an Australian one is there like a difference in energies or like the crowds how do they differ well, at Grand Prix and Championship events, the crowd is obviously, there's a lot of people in yep. the crowd. And actually, surprisingly this time, I didn't notice it at NHK. And then I looked back on the video and I was like, wow, there was a <laughs> lot of people there. I didn't even notice it. I was just I was just really focused and it kind of just felt like practice for me. Mm -hmm. um, but compared to nationals, I actually get really, really nervous for nationals. Really? Yes, every single season. <laughs> I get so nervous and I think it's because I just want to do a good job for my fellow Australians. Like, <laughs> I really want to put on a good show, like, so badly um, that I don't want to disappoint. Mm -hmm. So I, just, I do get really nervous. But at, this year, it feels a little bit different. I, I'm, I know I'm going to be nervous when I get out there, but... Uh, I, I, just, I don't know. I just feel I feel really prepared. That's oh, all I can that's say. Good yeah, to yeah. Hear. So <laughs> everything's gone well. <laughs> so your short program for this season is I like it like that. Uh, what was the creation process like for this program? Did you pick the music? Was it a suggestion from your choreographer? Or no, I picked the music, uh, and I kind of had everything mapped out in my head <laughs> before we even started choreographing. <laughs> uh, but this program took a while to choreograph mm -hmm. and. Just because, you know, he'd, my choreographer, Alex, would be like, oh, I want to do this. And then he'd be like, no, 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 let me change that. I want to change it. And I'm like, that's fine with me. Just make it perfect. <laughs> Let's make it really good. Uh, so, it, but it was so much fun to choreograph. Mm -hmm. I mean, my choreographer is amazing. Alex is just the best time ever. Um, it doesn't feel like skating or work. It feels like, you know, fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's good yeah, it's really, it's really, really great. But both my programs this season, yeah, I picked the music and 
everything <laughs> so yeah your free skate is requiem for a dream so you yeah. picked the free music did you watch the movie and get inspired or did you just hear the soundtrack somewhere uh, i'd already watched the movie years ago uh but i kind of uh because i mixed it with shout as well for the first piece mm-hmm. and i had listened to that and then because my process is i'm, I'm on the treadmill <laughs> and <laughs> all i do while i'm on the treadmill is listen to skating music mm-hmm. and get inspiration so whenever I'm on the treadmill and I'm listening to music, I say, yes, I like this, but I feel like I need to put something else with this. And then I actually figured out the, the two combinations probably about two years ago. And I just have, I have these things in my head for years before I use them. <laughs> um, and then I'm like, you know, which one would be best for this season? Yeah. And what would go pair well, like with the short program? Because I always like two different programs mm. and I like to ch- be challenged as well. Uh, and yeah, I think the short program is definitely a challenge this year. But the free program, I actually, I, I feel this year more comfortable in my free program mm-hmm. compared to my short program. And it was the complete opposite last year. <laughs> so I'm really confused with myself this year. But <laughs> I, I'll go with it. Yeah, it's so strange. <laughs> it's so strange. I'm so nervous in the short program this year. I'm shaking. I can't get myself together. Mm-hmm. Except for NHK, I felt okay. I felt okay then. <laughs> but the free program, I'm just like going out and I'm just like okay let's just do it let's just practice you <laughs> just know I, I feel, day. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> I don't really feel that bad in the free and I think it's because of the the music choice mm. and the actual choreography that my choreographers put in it calms me down I, I feel yeah. like that's what I feel like out on the ice so yeah yeah so your costumes for this year are both pretty spectacular. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I heard that you have a hand in designing them yourself so yeah yes. what's the creation process like for your costumes and who uh, do you work with for them? Mostly colour first, Mm -hmm. so I always have a a colour. And for this year, I I always think of dress. So when I, my treadmill process, um, (laughs) it's music, music cuts, choreography and dresses. Of course. Um, That's like literally, that's the next thing that I think of. I'm like, okay, what could I wear with this piece? Um, But no, this year uh, I I kind of just sketch them up. I have ideas first Mm -hmm. and colour and I sketch them up and then I kind of write my dressmaker like, paragraphs and books Mm -hmm. of my dress design (laughs) so I send like a different email because I write so much I don't want her to get confused so I um, literally break it up into one email is just on crystals and then the other email (laughs) on colour and the other email just on design and yeah just break it all down into different sections exactly so no one will get confused on anything I feel like I am psycho when it comes to this I'm sending my dressmaker like six to ten emails just on one dress and I feel like like I feel so, I feel so bad. I feel horrible because I feel like I'm bombarding her with so much information, and I, I I'm just like, but I make sure I add a I love you at the end. Like <laughs> I love you, <laughs> help me. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's kind of just my process. And the free, I actually had first time ever. I had a hard time designing my free program dress this season. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what I wanted. I knew that I wanted black, yep. but I just didn't know the design. Um, but I'm I'm actually. I'm happy with how it turned out, but I'm even more happy when I'm out on the ice with it, if that oh. makes sense. So I like the way that it looks more when I'm out on the ice versus mm. off the ice. I just think it like really captures well out on the ice. So Yeah. So uh, I've heard that you're also into snowboarding. So yeah. how did you get interested in that? <laughs> oh, literally, I just I just really like snowboarding. Whenever we go, um, we usually go for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, but the first time that I went to the US to train uh we did a whole bunch of things we did we visited a lot of rinks but also we went snowboarding as well um for fun because i'd never seen snow Mm -hmm. so yeah i I just i really liked it i picked it up pretty easily i mean i'm not an olympian like snowboarder (laughs) like and i never will be (laughs) but but, uh i really just enjoy it i Mm -hmm. like it um like I like I like the snow when I get to do something like snowboarding and mm-hmm. if it's something to do with Christmas that makes it feel cool because like in Australia I've only ever had summer Christmases yep. <laughs> yeah so you know it's it's nice to go over there for for Christmas and to do some snowboarding get a so. nice white Christmas exactly exactly <laughs> I've also heard that you're a bit of a bookworm so do you have any like favorite genres of books or any recommendations for our listeners <sighs> books <laughs> like. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't had the time to read in a while. <laughs> I've actually been really into podcasts lately. Yeah. I, like yeah. I, I, that's my thing because I usually would read on the plane. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just find it easier to sleep on planes when I can listen to a podcast and I don't yeah. have to watch a screen. Um, books. I'm not sure. Like I haven't read in a while. But <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's I okay. I well, then what's, what, are you, what are some of your favorite podcasts you've been oh, listening to lately? Okay, my favorite <laughs> podcast. Um, Hamish and Andy. Uh-huh. Love their podcast. They're hilarious. I love them so much. And their show is on 
um, TV now too. Like they they've got this new TV show, so it's, I just love them. They're so hilarious, and they're Australians. So that's two, two awesome things I love. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Uh, so figure skating is a pretty like non-stereotypical sport here in Australia. Yeah. So like in comparison, what do you say is like the most like stereotypical personality trait you have, like Australian personality trait? Personality trait pro. I love. I love. Well, not not very personality wise, but I guess like just stereotypical. Like I love Vegemite. That's great. <laughs> like and everyone goes, why do you? Why do you <laughs> I, like I get it? the same thing whenever yeah. I say I love Vegemite. They're just like. N- no. Yeah, no. I get people to bring it over for me when I'm overseas. <laughs> I'm like, I crave Vegemite. But I don't know, personality-wise, I think I keep the, the accent pretty well. But mm-hmm. whenever I'm around my family, so, like, I go over overseas to the States, uh, but I kind of um, have – sometimes they don't understand some things. Yeah. In, like, you know, just, just some things if I'm asking for a sauce or something like that. Like, tomato <laughs> sauce here, they just bring yep. I've learned my lesson with that because <laughs> everywhere in the world, like, Europe, I get, like – like tomato like juice and stuff mm-hmm. and I'm just like you know that's, no. a, that's something that I've lost as an Australian I now say ketchup all the time I'm like no so what you need is just an emergency bag in your suitcase yeah. with Vegemite yeah. and tomato sauce exactly. you can just bring everywhere exactly and yeah so I think those are the main things that are yeah I like I like to say I, I think I've kept the accent well but like, yeah, I think yeah, you have yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I like because I like my accent so I would like to keep it so our final question our little fun one that we like to end with is if you could let the whole figure skating fan community know one thing about yourself what would it be Ooh, that's a tough one um I think if I could let one uh, them know one thing about me I think that uh actually I I like one thing I do like and from Japan I've yeah I've, this is it comes up more in Japan but whenever fans write notes mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I love reading them. So I love reading. I, I will, I'll read everything. And I try to... Oh, also, like, if you message me on Instagram or anything like that, I actually try my best to answer every single person. So... And I like reading all your little messages because it's, it really means a lot to me. And I love it. I, especially on Twitter. I read so many things. And I'm like, thank you so much. Like, really, you made my day. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think that, like... Just for anyone in figure skating, I just love I love those little things. They really make my day, especially you know if I've gotten off the ice and there's little like notes, like handwritten notes, mm-hmm. and that's what, like I've just come from Japan, so clearly that's that, that, yeah. That, that, <laughs> I've, I've opened a lot of them, and they're so adorable. They make my day, and I, oh, I bring them home as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Kyla. Thank you. I it's hope been you fun. Had, I hope you have a really good performance in national. Fingers crossed. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. <laughs> we'll be cheering for thank you. you. Thank you.